forward-looking countries are doing everything possible to become startup friendly by providing funding, resources, and in many cases, tax waivers for startups. The irony is that in Nigeria, the reverse is the case, as startups complain of a total lack of support by relevant authorities. Enamdi Anika, Managing Director of Genesis Tech Hub, joins us to share his thoughts on how we can build the startup culture and truly support startups in Nigeria. Funding seems to be a major issue for startups. What is your opinion? Um, I, I, I agree that um, funding is, uh, can be a lot of problems for startups. Um, what has happened is that our environment, I'm, I'm not completely sure we have embraced the startup culture. Um, I, we, we don't, I, I would say that we are coming to terms. We're realizing the importance of the startup ecosystem and how it drives an economy. I think people are beginning to plug in. I think they are getting more attraction. And I believe that with what is going on with the startup ecosystem right now, that in a matter of time, once the value of um, what I'll call probably success stories are established, I'm sure a lot of um, private investors, ventures, capitalists, and the rest of them will begin to um, get more engaged. I'm curious to know what your experience has been running a tech hub in Enugu, which doesn't have the kind of attraction that Lagos or Abuja might have. I would actually say that it's not as, as straightforward as it would be for um, most other hubs in Lagos. I think people don't take you seriously. People assume what you have to offer in this region. Um, you also have the challenge of getting the right people because you find out that what happens is that a lot of people, once they are done with whatever they are doing within this region, they are rushing to Lagos and the likes of them. So, um, but one advantage that we've had as a hub is that we have access to a lot of um, undergraduates and early graduates. And this is particularly because we have a lot of relationships with the tertiary institution within this region. So um, what we've been able to do is take advantage of um, the access to find people that we believe have the right culture and the right attitude to drive our purpose. And then you have a game of poaching, sort of like having to um, convince this person that this is the place for you to be. Well, this, this is just what probably happened to us during the first, first few years, first year. The success story sells itself. So after the first year, people are hearing about Genesis, you're seeing um, the graduates, our ambassadors, that's what we call them. And you, especially when you're a friend to an ambassador, you can tell the difference in terms of quality, in terms of experience, and the rest of them. So I think with our success stories, the game is changing. People are seeing this as a place to so yes, it was challenging initially, but I think we've progressed beyond that. We're at the point where we um, feel that we're ready and that the environment is ready to retain talent. Now recently you invested in three startups, uh, yes. 10,000 US dollars each in cash and support, like you say. Why did you decide to do that and how did you reach that? So what has happened is that we've been doing this for a while and we felt that um, this was the time to ignite something within the ecosystem. It is true we're making progress, but we believe that if you reach out and spread your, um, increase the scope, that we can actually move faster and reduce the timeline to adopt the kind of like technological revolution that we want within the region. So we're sitting, we were discussing, just having some brainstorming, and we said maybe it's good to have like a convergence of all startups within the region. So um, we're looking at um, getting everybody to one platform, getting all the stakeholders involved in driving this technological wave that we're talking about. So we're thinking about the government, we're thinking about um, the, um, all the, um, uh, the OEMs, we're thinking about the academic institution, we're thinking about the startup ecosystem, we think of a way to get everybody to one space so that we actually sit down and look at the realities of our region and how we can forge ahead. So, and as we were discussing this, we also felt it was an opportunity to even expand the scope of what we're doing and reach out to 
just um, probably startups that don't have any form of affiliation with the Genesis and Tech Hub. Our thinking is that this would also kind of like uh, become like an incentive for them to get involved in this movement. Usually when you want to start up things like the people are worried like, is there a selfish um, side to this? Are these people really interested in building this thing or do they want to take advantage of the space and things? So for us, it was a subtle way of welcoming everyone. Our belief is that, and if we adopt the, um, the Genesis model, which is intense but deliberate, our belief is that if we spread this out by say 2018, when we're having our second um, season of the Genesis Ignite, that a lot of success stories would have been um, established by the offer. So people are going to look at the startups that eventually um, got the seed funding, and they are going to see the story, the success, and it will get them more involved, sort of like getting every, aggregate, feeling, making people feel like this is for us. Um, establishing the trust and making them feel like this can work. Our people are usually more inclined to tilt towards um, success when they've seen it, as opposed to being visionary. So we can all sit down and get this together and make it bigger and make it work. But if you say to them, ah, there was a startup in, in, in Genesis Ignite 2017 and um, see the success story you get more people involved, you stretch out and extend. So from that perspective, it was just, it was for us, it was, of course it's a passion to encourage people, for us it was more like getting more people involved so that we can build this and make it faster. Nandi, you've run a tech hub in Enugu for quite a while, and I'm wondering what you think should be done to get more old money to invest in the startup ecosystem. Very, very interesting question. Um, I, I think I'll look at it from um, two perspectives. First of all, I know that people are worried about investing in what they don't understand or are worried that there are some young people out there who are looking for opportunities to just um, capture, grab and run away. So um, it's, it's, it's going to be based on impact. Unfortunately, we live in a system that is driven by what I see. So we have to find a way of going through the mud to bring about impact that is visible, that people can see. And I believe that we're getting there. People, I, at this point, um, after the event we had, um, the Genesis Ignite season, I had a lot of um, potential investors coming to me to say, I like what you guys are doing. I can't believe you've been doing this. Where have you been? So we need, we need, um, we need to build trust to get people to be able to release this. And then from the, um, the second way to look at it is that our people also need to understand the importance of supporting the um, startup ecosystem. So I think it's education. We need to ring the, any, any, and we all need to make that noise. We need to understand, we need to make our people understand that um, the, the future of the country is dependent on small and medium scale enterprises. And we, it cannot be overemphasized. You look at the likes of Germany, a huge percentage of um, the economic output is derived from startups, small and medium scale enterprises. Look at, it's, it's, it's everywhere. Look at India, look at China. We need to understand the import, and we all need to get on board. We, we need to grow beyond um, looking for who to point or accuse, or we all need to understand the importance of what we're doing and everybody needs to plug in and, and find out how to play his or her own role. So be, be, um, from the existing um, hubs and maybe a startup ecosystem, we need to, be, need to build trust. We need to um, become more, um, um, what's the word? Um, honest, for lack of a better word, about what we're doing. And it should not be about what I can get from it, but how can I make the impact and help. So that, that will get people to believe in the, in the mission and get on board. And then from the other side, we also need to educate our people, let them understand that this is the future of the country. Thank you for the day. Thanks for having me. There is no doubt that Nigeria needs more hubs scattered in various other cities so that we can help
put to productive use the talents of these young ones. That's our show for today. Please join us on social media. And don't forget, you can watch these and previous editions of the show on the channel's TV YouTube account or via my blog, cfatech.ng. For Tech Trends, I'm Chukomeka Agbata.